And we are live. Also trying to tweet this out. Can you tell when people are watching? I've got we've got zero viewers right now. Right. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, this will be replayed uh, later. So this is the Scotch Test Dummies, our first live broadcast. We're going to, it's just me and Bart tonight. We're going to do a little test run here, make sure everything uh, goes swimmingly. And then um, from here on out, I know next Sunday we have plans with Whiskey Daddy. We will meet up and uh, do Akintoshin 12 year next Sunday night uh, live, streaming it live. Uh, Bart, Bart, we're up to 13 viewers, so the word must be getting out good. Um, I don't know if you guys, if any of the viewers can comment, send a comment in. I think you turned that, turn that on and off. Now, you guys tuned in just in time because my allergies are getting me, and uh, Scott's made me promise uh, to sneeze at least one time while we're filming live here. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just blew his nose, and I got every ounce of it right through the... <laughs> Yeah, My that headphones. was right before we went live. I tried to clean the pipes, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to our channel on YouTube here and see how this is um, popping up. My computer is running. My other computer is running really slow here. Of course, it's been a while since I've used it, so it's probably trying to update and stuff. What we are doing, um, Walt Einhorn um, sent us a sample Ooh. of Ardbeg. Dark Cove. Oh, I, uh, well, I left that sitting in. I, I grabbed my one bottle I wanted to show, but I need to run and go grab oh. that. I left that okay. sitting on my counter. I'll be right back. Okay. And uh, looks like I just got an email from Walt, and he has joined us on YouTube. And I'm trying to figure out if I can pull this up to see how to turn it on for you guys to comment to us. There we are. I can see our feed. Bart had to go get his sample. This is the Ardbeg Dark Cove Committee release. Uh, this was bottled at 55%. Uh, the standard uh, Dark Cove is bottled at 45%. Now, this is the one, the special uh, release that uh, come out named from uh, Ardbeg Day, basically, bottled in March of 2016. I almost fell down. <laughs> I was running. You run on carpet with your flip flops, especially with a nice thick pad. You got to watch it. You got to caution that. There's bad a, things happen. Well, that's a PSA right there. That's a public safety announcement. So now I have it right there, Bruno. Okay. Well, I'm seeing. Okay. Now I'm seeing I've got YouTube pulled up on the computer here and the comments are showing up on the, on our standard YouTube page, but they are not showing up on my laptop where I'm broadcasting live. I think the only folks that can comment there are ones that are in the uh, chat. I have Thanks. done this before with a board game podcaster, but never ran it. Just been an invited guest so um let's see so my sunday was filled with editing board game videos bruno and running out and moving lumber and weed eating stuff that i thought i did yesterday how was your day well we went, you also went to the liquor store today yes you and i made a uh, a trip to what i call the toy store it, it has that same feeling at the toy store got a little of this right here Boom. Alberta dark rye. Ma'am, we'll be uh, we'll be testing that soon in the future. Um, we've got several comments. Annie, uh, is it Anibal? Annie Bell? Yeah. Raposo He's commenter. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He's commenting. This is Anibal. This is awesome. And then Adventures in Whiskey. He's got his Dark Ooh. Cove poured as well along with us. Way is to go, Walt. Walt. Are you Adventures in Whiskey? And wow, this, is, this is good. 
Anna, nice... uh, on the ball, on the ball uh, commented just out of curiosity why the dark cove. Like I say, this was sent to us from Walt Einhorn, Einhorn and we haven't even seen this in our area right. at this all. This is one of those so. that we can't get a hold of, unfortunately. And the other thing uh, Scott and I talked about is maybe when we do some of these live Google Hangouts, um, it might be a good time to do two, one of two things. Uh, maybe spend some time with a fan or a couple fans on the show, maybe a special guest from inside the industry, or when we don't have a bottle of something, because sometimes we'll just have the sample that's come in, but it might be a good time to do the sample. This doesn't play as well when we do our full show, but, uh, you know, we'll tweet them out sometimes and maybe they'll be great here. Oh, that's right. Sorry, Bobby. I knew you were adventures in whiskey, Bobby Childs. Oh, yeah, um, Bobby. Now, Bobby. Char Charlie wants, he's got to hear a test it, Bart. Uh -huh. So we got, we got the Ardbeg Dark Cove. Hold on. Or, yeah, Ardbeg Dark is, Cove. Here this is like the behind the scenes kind of deal. You haven't even right warmed here. up your vocal cords yet. Yeah. Yeah. Usually there's like singing that happens and then <laughs> a little, a little yodel that I won't do here. And then I break out a test it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that's what i'll break out now this has got a pretty nice smoky it's, peat nose to it it's got a nice uh some nuttiness in there hmm. uh the peat of course yeah i, I am very now, nervous on my allergies i'm not blocked up yet but i can tell it's coming uh walt sent a picture of the bottle the dark cove and it says at the bottom on the front take this whiskey and hide it well for the heart has been matured in dark sherry casks, Boom. imparting waves of treacle toffee, coal, coal tar, and it's out of focus a little bit, something noodles and toasted coffee grounds. It's the <laughs> darkest art bag ever. Something noodles, that's like the key part right there. You can't <laughs> just say something noodles, that could have been like uh, golden noodles. That, that wet noodle wet noodle could have been a wet noodle was part of that uh that could have been uh uncooked uncooked noodle hello charlie charlie liked to see you working it up working your vocal cords up yeah. and he said that was he, he thanked you that was a great test it i bought thank you for the call i call out a shout out thank you for the shout out and uh yeah just had to had to do a little warm up there now, someone comment, because on my desktop, our YouTube, the video is kind of freezing and jumping around a little bit. Are you guys getting a smooth feed, or are you getting, uh, is it jumping around quite a bit? Hmm. Now, I will take some of that blame. Could be on my end, because I know the boy is watching Train Your Dragons on Netflix upstairs. Okay. So I don't well, know hopefully, if that's lagging us out. If it is lagging a little bit, hopefully the actual video, because this will get posted to our channel when we're done. Uh, this is being recorded on, on YouTube right now, and then it'll be posted as a video so we can come back and watch it uh, later. Are you able to show uh, like any of my connectivity, like am I lagging? Um, Do you get a symbol or anything? No, I don't see where to I've got, I can go. adjust bandwidth uh, usage, but I got it maxed right. out on my end. Now for our fans that watch us right here's the most useful button. I just muted Bart. You can't hear him. I just, I just uh, safe worded him. <laughs> I think. I All right. Hold on. There we go. I am. All right. Okay. Goodness. That was, wow. Okay, we got, that is we got, too much power. Every, yeah, too much power for Great me. Great responsibility. Everybody, uh, we got a smooth feed. Everybody says it's pretty smooth on their end, so it's looking good. All right. We got uh, Martin Calmers with us, Gene up in Minnesota, Charlie Whitehurst, Whiskey Daddy's watching, Andrew Go, Cup. Daddy. Go, Cup. We got quite a few. We're up to, uh, well, we've been jumping around a little bit. We're at 14 people right now watching. Oh, so by the way, Reverend, get... Reverend Toma, who writes uh, Angel's Portion, a blog, same name, lives in Michigan, not Minnesota, Michigan. Yeah. I want to know what part of the hand. 
because I had a buddy that lived in Michigan, and they all walk around saying, I, li I live over here. I live mm. right there. Or I live over on this part of Michigan. Ooh, what are you doing? You tasted Ooh, it. I tasted it. I went in there. That is, uh, that definitely has some dark sherry notes in there with it, along with the peat. Mm. Mm. Woodiness. Wow. The oak is coming out. Whoa. Wow, this carries a lot of flavor. That does. There's a lot packed in there. Holy moly. Wow. Long trail out from the peat, and it's like a, uh, wow, it's a, um, this is like an earthy, well, peat's always kind of earthy, but this is less ashtray peat. Yeah. And more of that strong earth. Wow. You haven't put any water in yours yet, have you? Nope, nope, and it's delicious at 55%. Wow, that is phenomenal. Give me I'm more. Tell me more. Now. Tell me more what's on the bottle with this bad boy. <laughs> this is uh, great. Yes. Now, I will tell you, we did just do next Saturday, we'll be posting our Lafroig shootout. Yes. And with most of those, I got a definite, uh, and most people probably get a uh, a cigarette ashtray. At one point, it was like a cigarette ashes landed in my mouth no <laughs> not and now this this art bag though i don't get that same peat that cigarette right. characteristic at all it's a different peat for sure hey uh warning to all viewers the lafroig shootout may contain a little violence <laughs> <laughs> there's there are maybe some on-screen violence perpetuated from one dummy to another dummy Forewarned. Yeah, there, there was a little conflict. A little bit. We, we resolved it. It's like brothers. Maybe you gotta. You can't <laughs> let it fester. You gotta just do it. You gotta take it out right there. Now, what we're hoping to do, though, uh, that we touched on next weekend. And this was a live one. Make sure we got all the kinks worked out. Um, next Sunday night, we're we're planning on going live with uh, Whiskey Daddy. And reviewing the Akintosh and 12 year. Uh, we've got a list of several of you that we've um, talked to and, and emailed back and forth with. We're going to get with and hopefully s hook up some of these uh, Sunday night collaborations. Yeah, we may go a little later. I'm taking, I took a few glances, mean glances from the wife coming doing it at <laughs> night. That's on me. I got two younger kids, and there was a couple sideways looks like, what? At nine. <laughs> So I don't know. Let us know who's East Coast, West Coast. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look at probably who yeah. we're going to be on air with and mm -hmm. what works for them. Uh, you know, even if Sunday night doesn't work, if we have to do it on a Friday, a Saturday, a Monday, you know, in the afternoon. Yeah, this is I like it. Holy um, and, you boy. know, I'm not the biggest. Uh, no, you are not. This is a different sort of peat. I mean, this is rounded. I need to spend, here's one thing we haven't done. This is the first time I've tasted this, which is kind of nice to get back to those very first reactions that we don't have, Scott, when we, because we yeah. pre-taste pre everything. But uh, yeah, this is one, well, I could explore this for a good hour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make yeah. that last. It's, <laughs> I saved a little it's bit delicious. too. Well, I want to put a little bit of water into that. And Walt, Walt, we took your sample and Bart got about... Well, we, I, I poured each of us a, about an ounce dram, and then there was about a quarter to a half ounce left, and Bart, I gave it to Bart since he's the bigger peat fan. I'm the so bigger, you got that's the bigger sample. This. That's what's in this little bottle, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, let's go. Let me look through the comments here real quick wow. and see what we got. Um, this is Bob, impressive. Bobby Childs, of course, I know he's a Compass Box fan, but he's noticed my – compass box bottles up on the shelf up there yeah those are my those are in my collection yeah when we started this deal those were some of the hidden bottles he's never even shown me i was like hey what's on your shelf back there what is that and he's like don't look don't look <laughs> well bobby and and uh, ani ball uh, both said that uh the peated whiskey is going to work right through your sinuses oh thank you i agree now what is this i see some star wars lightsaber action behind me here what are you doing in there? Is that you? Where? Are you a Jedi? The pictures? That's, yeah. my, that's my boys when they were younger. Oh. 
And then did you take that, uh, for those that don't know, Scott is a uh, photog. Did you take that Cherry's picture that's framed behind you or whatever that is? Which one? Oh, the chair. Yeah. You took that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's like, that's like both happy yet lonely yet makes you a little <laughs> hungry all at once. Yeah. There's a hidden message in there. Try to decipher it. <laughs> that's right. It's your round. Those look like two balls hanging there. That's all I'm saying. Looks like a ball, set of balls. And uh, Ani Ball has commented, wonder what the PPM is. And I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, that Ani is. Ball. Yeah, Ani you almost Ball. got a Hispanic tone there. You sounded great. Um, he wonders what the parts per million is. And that is a good question. That so, is. Uh, if wow. anybody knows, feel free to comment. Man, I could just nose this all night long. There's a good song. Nose it all night long. Hmm. Um, just a second. Um, you sorry. keep reading. Now, yeah, my um, back area, I'm not nearly as decorated as you yet. This is like my working office. Literally, this is my, uh, my Mac that I do all my editing on. Um, and I need to kind of finish up the office. The wife's computer's here. I don't have up and running yet either. Hold on, Bart. Sam Spears is with us. Boom. We got Sammy. Sammy's Sam. on board from Jersey. <laughs> he loves the ashtray. Woo. He, Sam remembers when he was kissing the girls that were smoking two packs a day. Boom. That was back in 1967. He was a hit. <laughs> back, he had like an old Camaro, one of those little, little fast back Camaros he was driving around in. The girls loved it, but they were smokers. Whiskey Daddy is fine with later, so we can plan. Uh, Whiskey Daddy is 10 o'clock uh, Central Time next Sunday. Good for you. I know that's going to be late for some of our East Coast viewers. We'll kind of play this by ear. Yeah. Ooh, you even got your uh, Booker's Rye way up on the uh, shelf there, don't you? Yeah. Look at that. I see an Ard bag creeping in. Is that your Oogie? That's your Oogie doll. Though. Yeah, I brought that in case I ran out and wanted another little kicker or something. I figured <laughs> I'd chase the, the uh, Dark Cove with the Oogie doll. That Oogie doll probably needs to be on my shelf just for set purposes. No. Well, you can go, <laughs> you can go buy one. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. What other comments are coming in since we can't see them? Hey, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to do, we thought this would be a great place to do some question and answers. Um, and I'm thinking we might even have a segment somewhere in the show. You guys kind of comment if you think a Q&A is good and where we should do it or how we should do it. Um, the odd thing is on a Q&A, you can't really say that we're industry experts, but, <laughs> but, but we have whimsy. We bring whimsy as the key word. Mm. Mm. Uh, Dan E. Uh, loves the compass box. He's not had a bad one. Uh, Raymond Beeson has commented he's got to have the got to have the peat moss. Yeah. All right. I just put probably way too much water because I'm kind of I don't have our little dropper, but I wanted to put a little water in here to try it. Probably too much. Wow. Still got about that. I kind of get a clay. A little bit of that body putty that I find so appealing takes me back to my youth. Nose is still good. Nose is still open. Mm. There's a little bit of a uh, some of that spearmint or that clove or the mint on this as well. Now you called it. I prefer this neat. Maybe a drop of water. I think I got a little bit too much water in it. It's caramelized it out a little bit for me. And, uh, and it dropped off some of the complexities that I have. But again, I may have put a little bit too much water in because I'm babying this sample a little bit. So I didn't have a full <laughs> dram. I did tell Bruno with the sideways glance I got from the wife, I was going to try to only make this quick for me and bail at 10 minutes. I'm already into 18 and I don't yeah. plan on going until <laughs> I get a text saying, what are you doing? I'm tucking the boys in. Well, and that's one deal we had also talked about. We, we want to keep this is still be a whiskey review. Uh, we want to keep most of them probably 20 to 30 minutes long, somewhere in that time frame. So yeah. we got a lot of comments coming in though. We got 20 people watching right now, Bart. Uh, um, let's stay. Let's linger a little bit. Whiskey Daddy is fine with uh, 11 p.m. Eastern, so 10 o'clock Central next Sunday night. 
Beautiful. I need you to uh, you should convert that into Greenwich Mean Time, just in case. Yeah. We've got a few people in Belgium that uh, are Belgium in uh, the Netherlands that want to watch. Um, and in Belgium, I'm sure. Sam um, Spears acknowledges that it was the uh, female smoking the two packs a day that was loving on him. That makes him like the Lefroig. Yes. Um, yeah, that would do it. Raymond Beeson wants to know about, he says, can someone please help out with ice being okay with bourbon, but not scotch? You can do whatever you want. First of all, that's the first rule. Whatever way you want it, it's yours, it's your bottle. You do it. Now for me and in general, ice will cool whatever it's put into. And if a, if, if a spirit is colder, the colder it is, the less flavor it's going to impart generally. But if you like it with ice, have it with ice. Me, I like some of my bourbons with ice, um, especially the strong ones that are higher ABVs because it'll actually, I get to taste that, that uh, ABV kind of lessen as that ice cube melts. And I find that pleasurable to see it change with, the, with a single ice cube. That's me. What say you, brother? Well, you know, I've actually seen and read several um, whiskey tasters, whiskey reviewers, and that's actually the same. I mean, I, I've heard that with scotch, for some reason, they don't want to chill down. They want it room temperature. You just want to add, you know, warm water to it. And, I, and I've heard people say that ice works good with bourbons. Um, and really, though, I, I still think it comes down to personal preference. Sure. Um, when I first started drinking scotch and whiskeys, I put, you know, this much scotch and this much ice and water on oh, it. Oh, Lord have mercy. And, and just over time, that water started coming down to where now it's, you know, scotch and a little, and a little splash of water, or whiskey and a little splash of water. Well, yeah, um, we had a buddy that said he likes, I mean, it's not my deal, but he had a scotch that he liked to put just a little bit of 7-Up in. Now, yeah. that's not something I would do, but that's the way he liked it. I mean, I'm not here to get on him for however he wants to take it. Now, we'll tell you this, this Ardbeg Dark Cove at 55%, I added a, a little splash of water. I probably brought this down 45 to 50%, and it's delicious. I yeah, mean, it's not overpowering good. at all. Damn, <clears throat> this is good. We need to find a rep that can get this shipped to Kansas. That's what local. we need. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. this is, um, I, would, I would buy this. Mm. My comments have frozen up on our on the oh wait here we go now I got some they loaded we got a lot of com good comments coming in here I can't address them all I'm sorry what um, and what? actually I'm kind of glad I pulled them I didn't know if this was gonna how this was gonna work so we've got the live broadcast going on my laptop and on my desktop over here I've got our YouTube page pulled up so I can see um, the comments. You know what? It also gives us a great shot, like a profile shot of you. You're you're kind of handsome. <laughs> you get a good. It's a perfect like side profile of you. Well, good. I'll have to watch later. Bam! And with your little earbuds there, it doesn't mess. It's, we still get good vocals on you. That was a that's a hell of a trick you pulled off there. <laughs> um, Brett Atlas drank Elijah Craig Barrel Proof last night. Neat. Wow. And I'm taking he loved it. You should have. You should have been saying, wow. Just quote us. Wow. <laughs> that's yes. what it is. Wow. Exactly. It's a bottle of wow. That was one of the best headlines I ever put on a bottle. Yep. Wow. Or on a thumbnail. That, well, that one surprised us both. It really did. Yeah. Well, I'd come over to your place for that beautiful inch and a half thick steak that you covered in fresh parmesan wow both, well both of our families were out of town at the same yep. time so we was grill, we decided to grill steak get together and i'd picked up that and another uh, bourbon which ended up being kind of average but yep. we actually we tasted it the other one first and then we popped the elijah craig and admittedly the elijah craig 12 year or what is now the non-age statement elijah craig to me is an average bourbon it yep. was okay it wasn't disappointing it wasn't out, the nothing made it stand out and we right. popped the lid on that Elijah Craig barrel proof and was literally just blown away by the, the flavors that was coming out of it. Yeah. It's not just the high ABV. I mean, that is present. It's powerful, but the flavors, the, the bundled burst of flavor that just flies out. 
Mm. Delicious. I got to tell you, if I found a bottle of this on the shelf, I'd buy yes. it all, as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this was a, a very, very nice surprise. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. This is great. Uh, yeah. Daniel Daniel Hamilton just commented back to kind of uh, the ice and the and the water comment. He says it depends on the whiskey, but he's sipping Booker's right now, and it's delicious, neat. Sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, I like to start. I I prefer uh, cast strength or or barrel strength or whatever the the name it is. I like a high ABV bourbon or rye or scotch and then i like to bring it down a little bit as i go sometimes i like them just where they are but i usually bring them down a little bit i'll find that sweet spot for me um let me you so do you add a drop of water <laughs> and then two drops of water and then sometimes another drop of water boom. sometimes and, and sometimes then, an ice cube boom no with bourbon here I usually don't ever do an ice cube with uh, scotch. That's just me. Um, Hold on. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yell it. Yell it. Am I back? Right, you're back. Thank you. Actually, I'll, I'll be honest with you there, too. When you muted me, I kind of mouthed the words because if I yell, oh, I was saying my true. wife would be like, what Life are you doing? <laughs> You're scaring the children. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Brett just commented about E. H. Taylor. Which one? Which one of the E. H. Taylors is toe to toe with the Elijah Barrel Proof? Oh heck! I'm oh, the tried. barrel. You had that. We've only reviewed one E. H. Taylor, and that was the uh, small batch. Yeah. And I want to try their rye. I almost pulled the trigger on it today. A little pricey. I was a little nervous by it. Yes. Uh, $69, it's $69 over here, which yeah. is for our, which is really kind of average in our area for the E.H. Taylors. Has our, um, our Dickel Rye aired yet? I don't think it has, has it? No. That's right. next Wednesday. That's it. So I'm going to stay. Well, I've mentioned it a few times. You're going to get a yeah. positive. There's positive things coming with that, and it's at a great price range. So make sure you're tuning in next Wednesday. Because uh, I mean that that's an impressive bottle. Uh, we're up to twenty. Anymore. We're up to twenty five viewers. Uh, for those just tuning in, this is the Ardbeg uh, Dark Cove Committee release. Uh, it was bottled at fifty five percent. There is a standard release out, not the committee release. That's bottled at forty five percent. Oh, um, boo. boo! We both, me and Bart, have both found this uh, committee release of the Dark Cove to be uh, delicious. Mm -hmm. And if we could find a bottle of it on the shelf, we would buy it. Please, please, yeah, just get it to our liquor store. Boom. Um, I did get a little sneak taste of the Barrel Proof um, 1776? No, 1792, right? Isn't that what it was, 1792? Yes. And uh, and that was, that was flavorful. I, I mean, that was good, too. <laughs> what? What do you got? You're laughing at a comment. Well, not this one, but Joe Brown. Uh, Joe Brown commented. He said, "Dang, I just poured a Balvini twelve single barrel to sip while watching Ralphie's review, but I found you guys live." Woo! So Boom. Joe's Joe's tuned in, but then Sam Spears. After I muted you, he said, "That's just mean, Scott. Funny, but mean." <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up, Sam. Get on him. <laughs> he takes advantage of me at editing, and now he's got the control of the mute. Um, okay, Bart, you got you only got sixty bucks. What are you gonna buy? Sixty dollars. Um, I think that would get me the Taman eighteen year. Uh, However, close sixty nine. Uh, sixty bucks. Okay, I loaded up. There was a heck. Really, of a I can't sale. believe you didn't say a Lafroig or an Ardbeg. Well, here's the issue though on the Lafroig cash strength tenure i just loaded up on that sale okay but you don't have a stock but you got you're heading to the store well, you didn't say that you said like somebody handed me 60 bucks what were no they gonna buy? i didn't say somebody handed you 60 bucks that's the part i filled in <laughs> you got 60 I, bucks what are you gonna buy well see you put it that way all i got is 60 bucks i've got no stock no liquor on my shelf 
I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd go probably get a Freud cash strength tenure or hold on, let me switch it up because I do have a bunch of those. I, I stocked them up for that. Uh, I'd be just shy. I'd have to like beg on the street corner for another 10 bucks. I'd get the uh, Brook Lottie Port Charlotte Scottish barley. I like the Scottish barley a little bit better than their Isla barley. And the Isla barley is an extra 10 bucks. So I'm not talking the yellow can. I'm talking the charcoal gray can. Boom, baby. And that, I got to tell you, that's starting to overtake some of the – you're kind of looking at the camera buggy. You got like wide eyes. Like are you, yeah. you having a reaction? What yeah, are you doing? You got there? 60 you bucks. Buy a damn bottle of booze. You're not buying a car. Which one are you buying? Oh my! I about God. went to sleep. You were talking for come on. Minutes. I was even down to the color of the bottle. Come on, come on. you're getting violent. My <laughs> <laughs> Bal Balvini twelve year double wood. Boom. See, I ain't even got to ration it out. I ain't got to talk for five minutes. That was really boring. <laughs> <laughs> if if you were with Sam Spears, two girls back in the seventies, they would have kicked you out of the car. <laughs> You would have been over and done in like two minutes. They would have been like, where's Bart? He's, first of all, he, uh, he talks longer. Everything's got to be longer. <laughs> That's probably going to get me in trouble right there. We're talking 1970, though. So. No, well, now, uh, Adventures in Whiskey or Bobby with 60 bucks, if, if, he, if he could find it, the Elijah. He said the Elijah Craig barrel proof. But, I mean, that's pretty limited. So. Was and now there's grab. Sam Spears. He's got the Balvini 12-year double wood. Boom. Well, that's See? a good call. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying that's a bad call. How much is this? How much is this Dark Cove? I don't know. Anybody, uh, somebody comment. What's the Dark Cove? Um, both both versions, the committee release or the 45% um, the version. I bet you the What's committee the... release is 105. Oh, I bet you it's higher than that. Dang. I'll, I'll bet you the standard commit the standard dark cove is a hundred. Uh, I'll bet you the committee release is probably one sixty. No. Well, we'll see. That's me hoping, right there. That was like a oh, uh, Brett Atlas at one hundred and eighty, and one hundred hundred and twenty for the regular. Yeah. So boom, baby, bam, just happened. I didn't even have to talk it out and do all this rationalizing. I just knew it. Yeah, that was entertaining when you just know. <laughs> This could have been a like two minute podcast. Hey, it's working. Oh well, the How dark many, moves, uh, twelve year double. No, there was only two thousand bottles of that. Let's see if the if the <laughs> two thousand bottles of the so and so was going for so much. Then hey, I could start talking board games here. Hello. Uh, Hello. Yeah, Joe Joe Brown. This is the dark uh, the Ardbeg Dark Cove Committee release. This was a sample that was sent to us. Mine is, I've got one little sip here that's left and it's gone. And I'm, I'm yeah. sorry for that. I wish I had more. I've got, um, I've got pulled out my bottle of Oogie Doll though. If I ran short on the uh, Dark Cove, I got me a Oogie Doll to pour. But That is delicious. Ardbeg, tell the distributor to bring this into the Kansas area. Exercise all control that you have. Um, yeah, it looks like some more prices are coming in 90 to 120 on the standard and then up to 200 on the, on the committee release. Hey, so liking that committee release. Wow. Um, mine's gone now, but for those just joining art bag, dark cove committee release, simply delicious. All right. Well, do we take a few questions or do we wrap it up? We're at about 33 minutes. Are we really? Yep. Oh, wow. Time's flying. See, fast. see, he mocks me, but there's uh, the guy's show that I've been on who does a board game deal. Sometimes they go three hours, <laughs> <laughs> but they'll have like six guests come on during that show. So I got a little Oogie doll going in the glass. Wow. I've cleaned out the glass. Um, I, you know what? I want to try this Alberta, this Alberta rye called a dark batch. Get that up there, but I still got a pleasant aftertaste that's hovering around with that yeah, peat smokes. Yeah, you can't so, do that. No, I'm going to wait actually a little bit. Wow, you know what? I might be able to get a little bit more out of this. <laughs> There's like a little, a little bit in this sample. 
uh, Brett Atlas pointed out that, that you can find the Oogie doll online for 60 bucks. Um, that's really cheap. That it's is 80, good. 80 to 90 dollars in our region. Yeah. Um, well worth that. Uh, Ani Ball wants to know when the Compass Box Circus review is, and that may take a special occasion. <laughs> he hasn't I, even shown me that. that I do box. have. There is one of those sitting up there, and there's how many bottles yeah. of that was there? Forty eight hundred bottles, I think, of the circus. Oh no, there was eighty thousand. You need to open no. that one. <laughs> now the wood box up there, um, Bobby actually found for me. That's a two thousand seven release of a compass box hedonism maximus and there was only 1200 bottles of that all right now i'm not kidding he told me he had a hidden stash and i'm looking at him on your wall right there because <laughs> uh, we even did a little test run earlier and some of those were not seen during the test run so you've got a hidden cubby hole you got a, like a yeah. safe you got a hidden wall safe or something where i haven't seen these bottles uh, Joe Brown wants to know if we're going to post notes on this because he came in late. This video is being recorded by YouTube and it will post to our uh, Scotch Test Dummies channel. So you can go back and watch it at any time. Anybody that, that, that's come in late or didn't catch this review as we did it. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Now, David, David Pulsifer wants to know. And I, Bart doesn't even know this yet. Now, both Ooh. me and Bart are Denver Broncos fans, but he wants to know how happy you are that Mark Sanchez was cut. I'll oh, bet you, you didn't even know that. I didn't know that. You did or well, did Well, here's the deal. My hat is hung on the defense. Um, so whether he was relegated to third string or cut, you know, whatever. I actually was hoping that he would have enough savviness that he would be a good ball controller, that he wouldn't uh, be throwing a bunch of interceptions and whatnot, but that wasn't working out. So. Good luck to him elsewhere because I don't wish the man ill. So, okay, I suppose let's do a quick note here. Um, as pointed out, we need to do is it worth it? So, oh. we'll do that and then we'll probably wrap it up uh, for tonight and we'll see y'all back again next Sunday. But, is it worth it? I say yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, now I, you're talking one. Uh, okay, this is the committee release 180 to $200. I would buy this once. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I love this. I would shepherd it, but I would buy this one time. I would agree. I'd probably buy it. I would, um, I would ration it out and then uh, it'd be hard. I mean, just because 200, uh, uh, if we had a lot of money, I suppose I, I wouldn't have sure. a problem buying oh, it. Oh, I had a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> if we were, Instead of them giving me sixty dollars, I had like six hundred thousand dollars for whiskey. Sure, a couple cases. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. With this, yeah, I would perfect. ration it out. The now, most the, expensive the, bottle the, I've ever purchased was a three hundred dollar Black Arts uh, four point one or whatever. That's the most money I've ever spent on a single bottle. So I would buy this. Um, this is good. I mean, uh, the, uh, I can taste the complexity in it. Um, yes. that's the only time I get a little upset is when I have something that's that expensive. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't impress me. And yes, at $200 a bottle, I've got a high expectation. I do. And this, this achieved it. So, so yeah, what if, what it. if you found the, the regular dark cove release at 45% for a hundred dollars on the shelf, 90 to a hundred dollars on the shelf? Uh, I'd prefer the 90, but yeah, if it was 90, I'd snap it up and then ask them if they could get in the, uh, the committee release, the committee release. What is, what does that mean? The committee release? That was just two different bottlings and the committee release was done from, was actually released on Ardbeg day. If I remember wow. right. So it's like an Ardbeg committee that said this um, has got to be at a higher ABV, and I concur. <coughs> so, yeah, it's uh, well, this is worth it. Uh, boy, I mean, I wish it was less, but it it's tasty. As soon as I got it in my mouth, I could. It was full. It was rounded. It was complex. It it shifted. It moved. It changed. the The good thing is. I mean, I can get that from uh, that Deanston, was it the Deanston 12-year? Virgin Oak. 
virgin oak. Now, I mean, it's nowhere near as complex. It's not a peated. It didn't give me this, but there was a lot of complexity in that. And that was what? 35 bucks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the Tomatin um, pork cask, 14 year, a lot of complexities in there. It's really flavorful. The 80, 18. What? What are you doing? You're laughing. Brett, yeah, uh, Brett Atlas pointed out you wanted to know what committee means. Yeah. He says it means forget about finding it. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> you just, there was a tear there. Instead, I didn't need to add water to the whiskey. A tear fell in there. <laughs> And Dan, Daniel Hamilton says he agrees with Brett. You'll have a better chance of finding a unicorn. Oh, God. I've never even seen one of those. I miss you. All right. Well, I suppose we better wrap it up for tonight. Um, thanks for everybody that joined in, and thanks for everybody that comes in later and, and watches this. That's a good uh, run, brother. Good run. Hopefully we'll do this more often, and we're, we'll also start doing now that we've got the kinks worked out. We're going to start uh, calling some people up, and we'll be hooking up. Uh, with some other whiskey reviewers and people in the industry. Bingo. Good All right. job, Bruno. Way to set it up. Yep. See Say you later. It. Say it. <laughs> scotch it, you scotch gods. Solancha, dummies. dummies. <laughs>